Hi everyone, it's Veronica and in this video I'm going to show you three new published features of Storyline 360. The first one is how to set responsive playback. The second one is how to publish a whole project or just a single slide or scene. And the third one is the new output options that you get now with 360. So let's get right into it. So I'm in my project here and I've got a few slides and I'm ready to uh, publish my course. So the first thing I want to do is go up to this gear icon just up there. These are options for previewing your course in different uh, different devices but we're just going to check the gears icon there and that's going to allow you to select the playback that you want on devices such as tablets and phones. So you by default it'll be landscape and portrait for both of them but you can select landscape only or portrait only. And this basically means that if you select, say, portrait only, the user will need to tilt the device in that direction. And the same for the phone. So you can choose different settings for each of the, each tablet or phone. So that's the first feature. The next one that I wanted to show you are features within the publish um, dialog box. So some people don't really notice that these properties here are actually links that open up more options. So we're going to look at two here. The first one is the publish and by default this will set, be set to entire project but you can now click on that and you can publish the entire project or you can choose to publish a single scene. I only have one scene in this project or you can choose to publish a single slide and I've got four there and I can choose any one of them. And this just gives you a little bit more flexibility. Sometimes you need to view a, a particular part of your course in a live environment like a web or your LMS but you don't want to have to publish the entire course so you can just choose to publish certain sections um, and sometimes you just want to share the course with someone else but you don't necessarily want to share the entire course just yet so that just gives you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to publishing and finally under formats here we have some new output options which is really great news a lot of people a lot of people have been asking for this. So you can now choose to publish exclusively to Flash, which I know that some people who are still on older browsers really need that option. You can publish to Flash but with an HTML5 fallback, which means it'll play Flash by default. Um, but if there's no Flash, it'll play HTML5. You can choose HTML5 as a, as a default. And then if there's no HTML5, then it'll play the Flash version. And I know a lot of people really wanted this option. You can choose to publish as HTML5 only. So these are really, really great uh, improvements to the publishing features in Storyline. If you want to know a little bit more about Storyline 360, you can just check out our new articles at storylinetraining.com.au. Thanks for watching.